Today, uh, it's a bit of confession time really. I've been a bit lazy and not followed my own plan of action on, uh, on work on the house. So I'll give you a little insight on what I've got to get done today. So you might remember the very, very first video of the year, I think it was, I said it was going to be the year of snag. Um, and the art of snagging is uh, something we're not very good at. Essentially it just means all the little bits you haven't finished, whether that's scuffed paintwork or little bits of trim, or essentially just finishing rooms. And we're renowned in this house for kind of getting a little bit distracted and moving on to new projects. So I'm going to try and clamp down and finish what I started. First job really is to finish the staircase. I did the whole series on restoring the first flight, well, the first two sections of stairs, carpeting it. And then this bit, I couldn't really film it because I'd already done that. And I had very little motivation to finish it, but I need to get it done now. Now I've just realised that the masking tape, which I put on here, has been on for five months and it's not coming off very well. I'm trying to remember how far we got. All these are solid, they are fixed in uh, and uh, pinned in as well. I think that one's not in yet, so from there on we need to take out the handrails. already have one coat, I think. So, providing I... oh dear. Oh, that's not good. It's left all sorts of goo on there. Didn't end up filming too much of that because I just needed to get on and do it. Uh, but all of these are in. It's just one little fiddly one up at the top there I need to go and cut. This one is really turning out to be just a drag of a project. Um, what was meant to be a quick snag and paint before the carpet went down is now just two days worth of fiddling. So what I'm dealing with is any chipped paint. It's not just you know one layer scuffed. We're talking about a century, over a century of paint jobs. Uh, so some of this paint is six layers thick maybe. So you get a chip, it's actually quite deep and you need to actually fill and sand and it's just very time consuming. That said, I don't want it to look too perfect. It's an old period house and I kind of like that idea that, you know, the paint is smooth and clean, but if bits of variation, you know, they just tell the story. But the worst part of this whole job has been the handrail. As I thought, the masking tape was on there, it had gummed up stuck fast and because it had been on there so long and I've had to painstakingly strip basically the whole finish off there. Um, the only thing that worked to take it off was methylated spirits and a fine sandpaper and effectively I had to wet and dry all of this off and now it's fade, like got this faded look to it so I need to restain it to match the rest of it and I'm going to have to re-osmo it. My dad came over, he's also going to pop back later to give me a hand because it's just one of those jobs that's got just got to get done. 
and it's going to be me pulling an all-nighter otherwise. So he's working on some of the paint prep and snagging and caulking and stuff. He's a real perfectionist, so this sort of job on this sort of age house takes time when he's concerned, which is good because it's done properly, but when you're against the time, not that you've got to make compromises, but you just need to understand what's important and what's not. You know, some of the uh, some of the trim, uh, some of the snagging, where the treads join the string of the stairs, all of that is going to be completely concealed by carpet. But um, he's thorough, so he's been sanding all that out to get it nice and clear and clean for a final coat. The staircase is all finished now, as far as the joinery goes. Quite a bit of cleaning and clearing to do. This section here is where it transitions from the landing ceiling to the upstairs wall. And it was staggered, it was feathered out at the time of skimming the downstairs wall, but I've had to put a strip of plasterboard in there and then I was hoping to just get away with easy fill either side, but there was quite a big step. So I've had to put some bonding in there as well as around the window downstairs. And now the easy fill has gone on just to feather it all out. It's almost there and then it needs a good sand but it's taking longer to dry because the bonding hasn't uh, completely cured itself. Hindsight, should have just skimmed it. Other little snags, bit of skirting board I've got to cut and fit in there. All the actual pine boards under here just creak and crack. Uh, so I need to go along there, screw any loose ones down because at the moment tiptoeing around this house to not wake up the kids is tricky. All these spindles are fine from when we did them. There might be a little bit of touch up down the bottom. And then over here, where I've put this trim kind of down onto it and scribed onto it, I just need to kind of get a Stanley knife blade, a scalpel in there and get a really nice sharp join in there. I've managed to get away with not sanding back this one. Now I never ever thought I'd be happy to say this, but fortunately the kids were up at half six, which gave me a chance to take up the loose floorboards and reattach and screw everything down to get rid of those creaks just before the carpet fitter turned up. And then I had the satisfaction of handing over to a true professional. So Stephen uh, came over, he's done our other carpets in the bigger rooms and he uh, took it on from there. So what we did is sourced a, a matching carpet, an Axminster carpet, to the runner below uh, on the first stairs that you saw me fit earlier in the year. So it's the darker of the two greys. I probably would have gone for the lighter, but being the uh, frugal folks we are, we managed to get this from their factory shop, so we went for the darker of the two. It's pretty much a medium grey, uh, so I think it's worked out just fine. So I kind of left him to that, I've got a bit of footage of it going in, but a massive thank you to him. I'll leave a link to his, uh, I think he's got a Facebook business page down in the description if you're in need of a carpet fitter. Uh, he works freelance around Bath, Bristol, Southwest. Pretty happy with the fact that we are almost there. It's a respectable stage to to be at now. There's a carpet, and it's you know the kids haven't had carpet here for five years on the landing, so um, I'm glad to get to this stage. There is still more to do. We still got to restore all the original doors uh, and take them all out and redo those. There's things like curtains to finish making, and uh, and also right on the top floor there's another newel posts and spindles to go in. Just a short section, but that needs to get done. But 
I'm happy with where we're at now. Like I mentioned, the carpet is the uh, the same as the border of our runner on the downstairs, and I'm really happy actually. We thought we'd go for the lighter colour, but this really isn't that dark at all, and it's going to be much more practical uh, with kids and family. Bearing in mind that both of us run our businesses from upstairs in the house, so I'm on the top floor, the studio and office, and Jo has this uh, spare room here, which is her sewing and craft room for her for her um her business so we're, we're using the stairs more than others perhaps one little task i need to do is to get this uh, attached and finished on the end of here which is going to look great when it's done although now there's a post just behind it i'm kind of working out how i'm going to fix that on there because uh it needs to be a hidden fixing and i haven't really got space to get in there with a bolt but I'm sure we can work something out. And you might have noticed that at the top of the stairs and at the bottom of the stairs and another one needs to go here, stair gates. Ugh, oh, stair gates, um, well, put it this way, they're never pretty, but I think we can do better than what we've got. And I've ordered enough of these spindles and enough handrail that I can make at least one, maybe two, bespoke stair gates that will match everything. So they'll just look like handrail and spindles and they'll tie in and they should look good. So that's gonna be a little woodworking project for the future. Just talking about this project exhausts me because it was just a, a long old slog. So I hope people have enjoyed the series whenever it started, however long ago, and, uh, and there's some tips in there or at least learning from my mistakes. If you haven't subscribed already, do so because there is plenty more in the house. It looks like we're finishing, but don't worry, there is more to come. More plans, huge plans. Um, so there's there's never going to be a shortage of videos to come. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And I'll see you next time.